So after that last video of converting the Escalade from HID to LED, a bunch of people reached out and was curious what it would take to convert their standard bulb configuration to LED. And the reality is, it's extremely easy. If you can change a light bulb in the vehicle, you can convert to LED. So today we're going to be using the Auxedo LED, LED replacement bulb. If you're not sure which bulb that your vehicle requires, you can go on their website, it's an extremely user-friendly site. You go in, enter your vehicle, make model, year, and what's going to happen is it will pull up a full assortment of any bulb for your vehicle for LED replacement, whether it be the headlight, tail light, turn signal, dome, license plate, they have them all, full selection on there. Really easy, user-friendly, and also, if your vehicle has CAN bus, these LEDs come CAN bus compliant, which means that you're not going to get any warning dummy lights on your uh, your gauge cluster. Uh, a lot of times, these newer vehicles, they have that communication protocol with the bulb so that if something happens in your bulb blows, it will give you a warning and let you know that on your dash. Uh, and in the past, a lot of your LEDs didn't have that compliance so what would happen is if you did convert your vehicle you would get a warning light as if your bulb was blown uh, on your indicator so not gonna have any problem with that with these and they're a direct replacement so to start we're gonna start by removing these two headlight 10 millimeter bolts so you can take your impact or your ratchet we're just gonna go ahead and remove those two bolts to start and then what I do is usually just set them right here in the battery tray so you don't lose them You'll notice it's kind of loose. So now we've got to move on to the one other bolt that's hidden down here behind the bumper. Now, whatever side you're going to be working on, I usually get in the vehicle, turn the wheel all the way to the inside. This is going to give you the most amount of room to get access to the two 7 millimeter bolts and these two push pins here. So we're going to start with the 7 mil. Remove both of them. And what we're trying to do is get access to the back here for that hidden bolt for the bottom of the headlight. So you just gently pry with either a pry tool or a screwdriver. Just be careful not to chip your paint. A little bit of force there. Now by pulling back here, you can actually look inside here and see. And it appears that somebody has removed that bolt and never put it back. So. That would explain why the headlight was so loose. So we're going to be sure when we go back to put that bolt back. So we're going to lightly pull on the bumper here just to get a little bit more room. Might have to pull on the bumper just a little bit. You got one plug in back here, one plug in to remove the whole thing there. Also a note that this is probably a good time if you want to go ahead and polish your headlights up. As you can see, mine's a little grungy, a little sun faded, so I'm going to go ahead and probably take some polish to this too just to refresh the lenses back up. So what I like to do is get me a good working station and I like to go ahead and put down a piece of cardboard, that way you don't damage the lens at all when you're putting it down there. Sometimes you can unintentionally scratch the lenses uh, by setting it down on a dirty workspace. So I like a good fresh piece of cardboard and then get everything laid out. Of course, this is a good time now to go ahead and check some of your other bulbs and make sure you don't have nothing blown. Or if you're just replacing everything with LED, of course, it's just as simple as unplugging. But So the bulb specifically we're gonna be changing here is our low beam out. So just a little lock tab, take and unplug it. And then these, you can tell they're cammed in. So you can just go turn it left counterclockwise and then just actually remove it from the socket. There you have it. So we're gonna go, so we're gonna go ahead and get our LEDs out of the box here. And out of the box, they're really good actually just to go ahead and stick in. Most of the time you don't have a problem with it, but if it's too loose, then there's an O-ring assortment package in here 
that you can change it out to accommodate whatever size uh, hole for your headlight opening you got. And then if just so happens the the locking tab needs to be clocked in, there's a little Allen wrench that comes with the kit so that you can actually loosen up and then rotate this guy however you need to. But as far as putting in, you just literally just put it right in just like you took out the bowl. You twist it 90 degree, make sure she's good and positive. And then on the connection, you literally just plug it in. And then that's it. So what I do is I like to take and take those little zip ties that come with the kit, and then I take the time to just pretty much zip tie the wires in place so they're not floating around back there. It's not going to keep you from reinstalling the headlight. Pull these zip ties out, and then you want to make sure nothing's going to obstruct the cooling fan on the back. These have a heat sink with a built in cooling fan, and so that's another reason I like to zip tie the wires up tidy and out of the way, and so you know that it's not going to interfere with the cooling of the LED itself. And so the driver module and the wiring get zip tied nice and tight, and that way it's it's not going anywhere. Go ahead and cut off our excess. So that is done. Now we'll go ahead and reinstall this light assembly and then move on to the to the passenger side. So now that we got our LEDs installed, what I like to do before go ahead and wrestle this light back in and bolt it all up, get it all put back together. I always like to, it's good practice, go ahead and plug it in and make sure your lights are actually working and everything is doing what it's supposed to. So I kind of set it there. Oh yeah. So luckily everything is working. It's always good to go ahead and start them by hand. You don't want to run them up with the impact. As you know for a fact, you're not started. that way you don't risk cross threading the bolts. So there you are, right there. That bolt right there, that's the third headlight bolt. I already kind of got loose, but just to see where it's at with a camera, it's kind of hard to get in there to see it, but anyways. these push pins back in. Get her two seven millimeters. Get them started by hand. Side's done. So there you have it. As you can see, anyone with little to no experience whatsoever can do this conversion. Be sure to visit Oxido's website, put in your promo code MODIFIED for 15% at checkout. Thanks for watching.